first time when you sponsor I came to and I seriously thought to you, yes, yes, this guy is a well-established photographer, you know. I told everyone She wants to tell stories and tell stories about Batubatsu, Batubawe. My name is Komoto Nekutliani. I was born in Alex, um, and I'm a photographer. First time in Moni Spencer, I came to Chita, and I seriously thought with you, yes, yes, this guy is a well-established photographer, you know? This guy looks like someone who's been in photography and is, he's like, I would say he's a legend in photography. Then when I found out Uti, it's actually a guy who is just like us. He's trying as much as we are trying to get his himself out there, you know. I saw that's when I realized Uti Homoto his work was more of, of of a passion because camera is not something he went to school for. Homoto Ras Novele Rawile Kamuchia Kamisha Raili Popo Ramaja. Amaya is just like a couple of kilos away out of Polokwan. He was always indoors, TV. After high school, Kamuva to Soweto. I went to UJ to study, I studied LLP. I dropped out at 2011. I was a call center agent. 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 I was a call This is the first camera I ever bought. Like I shot almost everything that I know now with this, like with this camera. I, I can't say what really drove me to buy a camera. It was probably the atmosphere on like on on social media at the time then i think after like three months or four months the auto option on the camera broke so i, I was forced to like shoot manual. so that's how i got to learn how to use the camera like how to control the iso and aperture and shutter speed and like all that stuff i've, I've always shot with them since i met with them last via corner and there's like that brother relationship in between the three of us, you know. Mostly I was shooting, doesn't matter, Kokai, and I spend a lot of my time, Kokas. Many times I will shoot us a song, we were given that name, the Bang Bang Club. On his way to work, Homozo Gumutolo wa jama a kathadi nepe, a jama kathadi nepe, especially ko bri taxi rank. Oba rata ko 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 shuta ko taxi driver, di taxi ko di feita, ta shuta di street vendors. This was the first picture that that I took. Elori, in pure like a subject matter to like focus on. Because so there was this one day like nena na li chumicha, nena li some some weekend ro ro blow me the fair lunch, ro ko pinville. Ko feita this lady. Um, push a troll like because i'm used to just snapping so i'm busy snapping there can shoot can shoot so after your feather i'm looking at the, the review available like whatever i just shot can level i'm like no man why can't i why is one of one can you feel why can't i see here someone or get someone in the room over for going like within the community so many of us are refuna zuto zono fine. Refuna zitexi, refuna droboni, jobek, refuna vato, refuna like zuto zofana, and that's what attracted me to his work. Um, so, did you wanna do wanna? I think it was a photo of something stratan like jobek, and zuto zawa like his subject matters are not like beautiful. Maram shumawa is very very beautiful. I 
this was somewhere in the East Rand. I was there for a friend's wedding. I shot there. And this is my great grandmother's old house. I don't think I saw it or no. So this is the only picture that exists of this house. So I did a couple of um, shoots somewhere with the guys who were like Lang. Um, I tried to also like show the positive side of them. Why do we need them? Why are they important? So I used to share a lot of the stories via my account, uh, my accounts, share them on social media. And people were like responding to, to the stuff in a very positive way. <laughs> Una a very good eye for for subject matters and then Uchimbira the whole Jova so that makes his work really really versatile. Whatever he has put out there, it's things that influence him as a person, things that he uses every day, people he encounters every day, the interactions, the relationships, the transport, which is taxis. And from what I was told, usually like family portraits more than anything. There's never really been a time when I felt like I could quit because I haven't been doing this for long. It's been three years going to four years now. Maybe that time will come where I feel like, I, uh, nah, like things are bad now because being a freelancer, I, I, I easy. Like it's, it's not easy at all. Muko Ole Jongwana has a really strong influence on how I see things now. I wanted to go my straight up. I was taught like different things. Uh, okay, so this is Umuzi Photo Club. And this is where I spend most of my time. If I'm not shooting, I do most of my work here. I think through telling people stories, I get to find my story also, or I get to to actually know exactly the kind of person that I am. Ah, uh, shit. Hello. Hey. So I don't have a set um, working routine. I'm able to book a camera at Umuzi. I can use any camera. I, like, I'm, I'm one person who believes what It's more about the eye than the, than the actual equipment. Each day is very different. You don't know what, you, like, what you're gonna come across. And whatever I see interesting, I will approach I'm a photographer, All right. and uh, I just go around taking pictures of like okay. ordinary people oh, and trying to tell their stories yes. and why do they do what they do. But I see a lot of guys selling like fruits around. Man. Yeah. And where, where do you guys buy them? We are buying by necessity by in Mandela Market. You photo like this? On job level so but probably get a picture if if our mind. You find what people want to talk. People want to say like a lot of stuff out there. And no one like there's a few people who are willing to listen. So I just get there permission. If they agree, I shoot. Especially about buying long street vendors. 
ke bona e leng gore wa ba shuta ene le ba ba e leng gore ba go ga ditholi o rata mmere kwa ene wa ba thompa wa ba respect ba ba awe gore wa ba shuta ene ba tsebore ke mang mara go tshe le gore ba pose ke lo bolela gore gona le challenge ba ya go guys le ke fa le so kopana le bona ba ba di drugs ba ba le shetsa ba le shang ba tu ene ba ba se ba ikombela tix ba tu ke bona nna ke le mabona ha gore ba ntla mele ba khuse motho ba drugs After taking the pictures, obviously there's the whole process I have to edit. He's always on his computer. And even his editing, you know. But to bang about his one, but to work it out, he's a user. When they went and they saw the work, they were like, wow, this is really beautiful. You really captured the mood, you captured the tone, you captured like everything that was his or his at that time, you know. And we worked with another photographer. After editing, put them up on my blog, I write something. I was going to one of the writers, Eru Muzi, to, to help me with the grammar because my English can be bad with the grammar and stuff. Then put it up online on my, on my blogs or on my Instagram or wherever. The biggest challenge with being a photographer is a very expensive career or, expen or an expensive hobby. Like equipment is super expensive. The camera on its own, the body, the corner, we buy it. It's an arm and a leg. Mauke took by camera, signal up by lens. Mauke took by lens, signal up by my lights. And you're not even sure which is what all I'm a client who are going to be using your services, you know. So, as much as you're going to buy a lens, you're going to have a lot of money, you're going to have a lot of money, you're going to have a lot of money, you're going to have a lot of money. I'd say I'm very lucky to have, to have a movie where I can access equipment and happy to have friends with a lot of the equipment they can lend me a camera now and then. Last year, I was approached by Rendani. So she approached me, she's like, yo, um, I have this thing that I want to do. It's called the Honey. So the Honey, the, the project, the uh, and the story about this girl, Nufi Hani. Chapter one, yeah, she's called Introducer, or Chapter two, she's called Mabuzi Awe, Chapter three, she's called Mabuzi Awe, Chapter three, she's called Mabuzi Awe, Chapter four, like, it's almost like a continuation of Chapter three, she's called Mabuzi Awe, Chapter three, she's called Mabuzi Awe, Chapter three, so what it is, basically, it's an online story that is continuing, and it's a collaboration between Khumuzo and myself. Especially from mid last year till now, they are now they are now realizing what he, oh, Homozo is making a heat wave and they're gonna they're gonna be also be part of that heat wave, you know. So locally his content air move around. At least in the next five to ten years, he should be a DOP for movies, you know. Because he's very good at that as well. I mean he was working on the hangman and they loved his work from word go because of how he sees things and how he imagines things. They were really excited, they were like, yo man, the way this the way, like you already gave a bit of life to the movie before it, it, like it even came out. People can have an idea of how this movie is gonna look like already, just of these pictures. And he was like, yo man, I'm actually gonna give whoever's gonna color grade this movie, I'm gonna tell them to reference these pictures. Even like media houses, um, I remember the first publication that I had was um, and Guardian. Um, I would, like and I remember the picture was a picture of um, these two ladies who were dancing in a tavern in Zola. So they published this picture and wrote like a small caption about me. They end up uh, publishing it. Uh, Mukobri. Let's see. Yeah. Within that time, I was able to 
go to 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 intern go the star the star newspaper I was there, I was a photographer there, an intern photographer with, I used to travel with the other photographers, share them and shoot, whatever. Okay, mama, I'm going as an intern called Sunday Times. I'm going to call Sunday Times. I was there for some time, no, but it was, it was a really nice learning experience via photojournalism, but I felt like for now, that's not the route that I want to take. This whole collaboration with me and Rendani, it's grown from just being a, co uh, a collab into like a whole business. And I think also for Komoso, it's almost like an experiment, right? To see how far he can go as a conceptual photographer. There's been like so much going on. Um, like we've, we've had like different clients come into us. We showed at the Turban Art Fair this year. Uh, there's another client that came to us who really liked our work. Not really a client, but they wanted to do like a collab with us. Um, it's a musician and she wants us to like, um, yeah, basically collaborate with her as the honey and shoot a music video. Thanks. So far we've prepared everything, everything is cool. So, but if it does fail or it doesn't go as planned, then we'll see where we went wrong and try to fix it from there. We're getting dressed up, we're doing makeup. So great does it do? That is like out of the ordinary for the honey. Like we're going the extra, extra mile. So like being transformed from being in front of, like behind the lens to being in front of the lens is like the weirdest thing ever because now from Kudlina Rendani, Rendani didn't plan to she didn't, hadn't planned what she's gonna play the honey but it, it, it ended up happening so when, when we had to introduce the new character Gavin in chapter 3 there was no other person to play the person but me it feels kind of weird but hey if it works then why not I'm, I'm all for like trying new things so yeah it's it's cool I like it Okay, so right now we go go Eldos, go Eldorado Park. We shoot a music video, yeah, non copier. So I'm here as Gavini and Arape. I'm here to come shoot the pictures of the whole thing. Come shoot the stills of the the whole video. So like he doesn't like to be in front of the camera, but because in chapter three over a panda camera, now he needs to like take up that role of the guy that he was playing, the guy Ufi Gavini, um, and be that person in the video as well. Mara Ukweta, like the the behind the scenes and taking Zunebe. So there's like two parts to this collaboration. The environment has been cool, but Tomo, like Baramo with like open arms, um, Asagari face like any problems. I think they hate people one or Remo. And personally, I'm also happy to see Project Re Tomile sometime last year, around this time, really, around this time of the year. I'm happy to see it coming this far now because now it's coming to life. I mean, like, we never even thought Hore we could be collaborating with someone like Nunku Piro. She's like, She's she's good. Like she's very good at control. Can 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 control it. But to Banjiba Wonangari, the honey is like a short film or something because of the way Zunepezono Zonopang out. But that's not what it is. But this time round, people are going to see for the first time the honey in motion in this new collaboration.
agafuna ma mistakes and agafuna ukuthi stepa makasipana as much as singahlala siqoqo sirenge mara makasipana no muthu uringana uno uno hayi ukuthi uyakwada mara ngoba naleyo tension yani udiamond niyasipana mfuthu wo so renga ama kancane yabo mara immediately makaqeda vele immediately makaqeda ukushuta whatever ishuta ayo uyarenga nawe kahle akubuza ukuthi bothini bofuna ukwenza yini nayo bona kodwa ke lezo yitsa fela so how much money do you have now? Got a lot of money. <laughs> you know how much it is. Basically, yeah, it was not really, it hasn't started like that. So like Mona, she sees me, but I keep playing and I, I look back again, and she sees me, still. Then you come down. But don't down. I also see you looking at yeah, her? Yeah, then you come down, you see me looking at her, then you come join me. What are you doing? I'm going to go to So from here, man, I, I don't know, man. It, it, it just depends on what comes after this. But I know there's still much more work to be done with me and Rendani, like by the Honey. We still have to, there's still more chapters to be released. People must watch out for that. Um, there's just more work to be done. In international galleries, international magazines, international everything. Like, as business partners, to go very, very far. Like, we want to go in South Africa, you know? Like, we're not limited and that we're not what the world thinks we are and whatnot. Like, and so, we want to tell them all over the world. So we're looking at traveling very soon moving with the honey, even with his personal projects and even with my personal projects, like we really want to be international and I believe that we will be. I'm not saying um, being an accountant or a lawyer or a doctor is not like, um, it's not, um, I don't know how to put this, but like the creative field or the creative industry, you can also make a really great career out of that. You can be, you can be an illustrator or you can be a photographer, and still make a living, the same way a lawyer can. So go out there, do your thing, and kick some butt.